A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. In a significant escalation of hostilities, Israel has ramped up its bombardment of southern Lebanon, targeting towns and villages around the coastal city of Tyre. The Lebanese Health Ministry reported that at least 10 firefighters tragically lost their lives in an Israeli airstrike in the border area. These firefighters were preparing for rescue missions from a municipal building in the town of Barakat when the strike occurred overnight. While the Israeli military has not provided immediate comment on this specific incident, they acknowledged conducting airstrikes against Hezbollah targets in the region. On Monday afternoon, the Israeli military announced that it had executed airstrikes on 120 targets in southern Lebanon within just one hour, following reports from Lebanese media of intense bombardment across the area. The state-run national news agency indicated that more than 30 towns and villages surrounding Tyre were struck by Israeli aircraft. According to reports from the BBC, some of the hit locations were in the hills near the border with Israel, while at least one strike impacted a densely populated area of Tyre itself. The Israel Defense Forces IDF, stated that the targets of these airstrikes belonged to three units of Hezbollah's southern front. The Elite Radwan Force, the Missiles and Rockets Force, and the Intelligence Directorate. Additionally, the IDF conducted a targeted strike in the southern suburbs of Beirut, where a significant plume of smoke was reported following the attack. The Israeli military's operations in southern Lebanon appear to be expanding, with the IDF announcing that a third division has joined the ground operation initiated six days ago to dismantle Hezbollah's infrastructure near the border. In a precautionary measure, the IDF ordered the evacuation of another 20 communities in the south, including the coastal town of Nakura, which also serves as the headquarters for UN peacekeepers in Lebanon. The ongoing conflict has resulted in over 1,400 fatalities in Lebanon over the past three weeks, with 22 reported deaths on Sunday alone, and has displaced approximately 1.2 million individuals, according to Lebanese authorities. Despite suffering significant losses, including the deaths of its leader and several key military commanders, Hezbollah has remained defiant. The group reaffirmed its confidence in its ability to resist Israeli aggression, following a series of rocket attacks on northern Israel, including the port city of Haifa and the town of Tiberias, which resulted in injuries and damage. On Monday, the IDF reported that a total of 135 rockets were fired from Lebanon into Israel. The Israeli government has classified Hezbollah as a terrorist organization and has vowed to ensure the safety of displaced residents wishing to return to their homes near the Lebanese border after a year of cross-border fighting that was ignited by the Gaza War. Hostilities have escalated since Hezbollah began launching rockets into northern Israel on October 8, 2023, in support of Palestinians, following a deadly attack by Hamas that resulted in significant casualties in southern Israel. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu emphasized during a cabinet meeting that the counteroffensive against what he termed Iran's axis of evil is crucial for securing Israel's future and safety. As the conflict continues, the repercussions are felt across the region, with civilians caught in the crossfire and an urgent need for humanitarian assistance. The situation remains fluid, with both sides preparing for further military actions as tensions run high. The international community watches closely, calling for restraint and urging a resolution to the ongoing violence. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.